what the f*** is COV? I'm sure many of you have heard COV when buying a HDB flat and that we should minimise it. But what exactly it is? And why do people avoid it as much as possible? COV stands for Cash Over Valuation. In a HDB sales process, once you decide on an offer for a unit, say at 500000 and you will put in the $1,000 option fee. You will get the option to purchase and send in a request to HDB for valuation of the unit. This process will usually take up to 10 days because you are given 21 days to exercise that OTP which is also to confirm the purchase of the flat. Now, so two things can happen after you submit for valuation. Number one, the valuation matches which means that the flat purchase price of $500,000 is also valued at $500,000. That means there is no COV and you can proceed to exercise the option and confirm the purchase. Number two, the valuation is lower than the purchase price. Now here is the tricky part. If the valuation is lower, say at $480,000, the COV will be $20,000. As the buyer, your HDB or bank loan plus CPF and grants will only cover up to only $480,000. The other $20,000 will have to be in cash plus the COV. Now imagine having to pay an extra $20K that can bring you and your family on a few vacations. So what do you do? Number one, you can walk away and say, no way, I'm not going to pay 20K COV for this and forfeit the $1,000 option fee and then proceed to restart the search process for another unit. Number two, you can renegotiate with the seller and try to bring the price down as much as you can to an agreeable price and minimize your COV, which in this case say 490,000 so that your COV is now $10,000. While COV is not preferred, some factors do justify the amount, which is why you see people paying more than $100,000 for COV. Some of the most common factors are the decor and renovation of the unit, the location, the level, the view, and other features that are unique to that particular unit. What this means for the buyers is instead of the usual HDB resale transaction where there will be a maximum of $5,000, uh, $1,000 option fee, and $4,000 exercise fee, and the rest will be covered by loans, CPF, or grants, this COV transaction will see the buyer forking out additional 20K in cash. And for the seller, nothing changes because the cash proceeds remain the same except that the 20K will come from the buyer. So as a buyer, how do we try to minimize our COV to reduce our heartache as much as possible? I will show you in my next video.